Hi guys, and welcome in this presentation. I'm Anthony. And I'm Adrian. And today, we showcase SockerNet V2, a dataset and benchmarks for holistic understanding of broadcast soccer videos. That's a massive international work in collaboration with Silvio, Mesam, Jacob, and our supervisors. Pay attention, because our secret objective is to make you work on SockerNet V2. Let's, Let's go. go. Data might be the new oil, but annotations are the secret sauce that enable training supervised models for various tasks. Until recently, soccer was an arid area of research, missing a dataset of reference to create a true community. Even though a few datasets have been released, none of them provide many games with many annotations to tackle many tasks. So we wanted to create one dataset to rule them all. Ladies and gentlemen, announcing SoccerNet V2, the largest corpus of manual annotations for broadcast soccer video understanding and production. It comprises about 300,000 annotations temporarily anchored within 800 hours of videos. But wait, there's more. A dataset without tasks is a bit gloomy, like a remote conference. You miss goodies, people, and events to really have fun. Thus, we propose three tasks and release reproducible benchmarks. First, let's focus on soccer actions. We provide 110,000 single temporal anchors split into 17 classes. For example, for penalty, we annotate the frame of the last contact between the player's foot and the ball. And for the goal that follows, the moment the ball crosses the line. We included all your favorite soccer actions, corners, free kicks, cards, penalties, clearances, goals, and so on. Besides, we state whether each action is shown in the broadcast video or unshown. For example, this happens when the producer shows a replay of a goal that lasts past the kickoff that follows. Naturally, the related task is action spotting. This task addresses the general problem of retrieving moments with a specific semantic meaning in long untrimmed videos. We tested several methods, and the winner is Calf. But that was a close call. Here is the full table of results. Then, performances only on visible actions and unshown actions, and per class results. Let's move on to cameras. We annotate every camera change for 200 games, totaling more than 116,000 temporal anchors. With that, we annotate which type of camera is used for each sequence, main, corner, behind the goal, and so on, in 13 classes. Therefore, our second task is camera shot temporal segmentation. It consists in classifying each video frame among our 13 camera types. Again, we tested several methods. CALF is better than simple baselines, indicating that the task requires more than simplistic approaches. This task is coupled with a camera shot boundary detection task, where the objective is to find the timestamps of the transitions between the camera shots. In our experiments, a classic histogram-based method is the best by far. Sometimes, the best one comes in all bottles. Finally, we delimit each replay with camera-like timestamps, and we also indicate which action of the live game is replayed. Almost 33,000 replays are associated with their corresponding action. In that regard, we introduce a third and novel replay grounding task. It consists in retrieving the timestamp of the action shown in a given replay shot within the whole game. Derived application may be further built on top of this task, such as automatic highlight production, as the most replayed actions are usually the most relevant. For this task, we design our own approach, based on Siamese neural networks. You will find all the details in the paper and in the code. Here is an example of result, showing that we can correctly learn to link a replay with its action without necessarily spotting all the actions of the same class. As we have shown, SockerNet V2 is a fantastic dataset for developing new ideas. Give it a try. Besides, 
our tasks are mostly unsolved at the moment. Thus, the community still has a lot on its plate. To conclude, here is our cherry on the cake. This year, SockNet v2 was also a challenge. We've had an evaluation server, we created a community on Discord, we've had live events, many submissions. This was a great success. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to have a chat with us during the CV Sports Workshop. And see you next year in person. Yeah.